Hi sewing fam. So today's another Friday Sews and I wanted to share with you uh, what I've been up to lately. The shirt dress that I actually managed to finish so I'll give you all a sneak peek on that and then a full review later next week. But um, yeah let's talk about what I've done what I'm going to do, and a little bit about life. So first, let's talk about the shirt dress that I recently finished. So if you watched my last video, I had told you all that um, I had sketched up this idea for a shirt dress with leather trim, and well, I actually finished it, and I absolutely love it. You can see that it has a button placket here, and well, it's actually a hidden button placket, so you don't see the buttons when it is all buttoned up. I added a pocket onto this pattern. Now this pattern was actually Butterick 6294. It's this one right here. And my goal was to make view A but lengthened into a dress. Um, but I, I actually, I made a couple of mistakes <laughs> when I was sewing it up. So I ended up with Something that looked a little more similar to this, but not quite as long. I'll, I'll definitely go into more details on my boo-boos and how I fixed them in the next video. But yeah, this is definitely the shirt dress that I was going for. I even included the leather collar, leather cuffs. Um, you all, it, it's, a, it's a really nice top. And then I did all of my top stitching in black to, you know, kind of pull together the entire look. I actually wore this out to my friend's birthday party celebration not too long ago. So I'll just pop a pic of it over there so you guys can all get a sneak peek. But definitely stay tuned for next week because I'm going to give you the full pattern details, all of the changes that I did. And then also, next week, I'm planning on sharing all of the leather sewing tips with you all. I did try out some new things, so I can give you all the lowdown on just how to sew garment leather. So, got some good stuff coming your way. So, I'm not sure if you noticed, but in that picture that I shared, I actually had a rat belt on. And while I've been getting more into, you know, leather crafting, leather making leather things and stuff, and I decided just to kind of whip out a wrap belt out of some leather that I had here in my stash. And I think it really does add a super nice touch to the shirt dress. Now, I'm like super curvy. I've got a big upper body. Of, well, I've got a big bust a smaller waist and then my hips are just the biggest thing on me and so I think it's like actually really good when I'm able to cinch in a waist and create some definition and this thing really well it just really did it but there's actually just one thing that I wanted to change on it and it's that um you could see up at the top here I just left it raw it's a raw edge and i did notice that as i was wearing it the top and bottom edges stretched just a little bit and started getting a little wavy now i was able to kind of coax it back into shape but you can see some of that waviness in there you see that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the design a little bit and i'll actually have to shave away some of the leather on the edge here so that i can flip it down and just put in a nice row of stitching all the way along that edge. So that way it prevents it from stretching out because no one needs wavy looking belts around their midsection, right? Mm -mm. Nope. So I'm definitely gonna skive down that edge. So I'm definitely gonna skive down the edges and make a new one and I'll be sure to share all of the details with you. But you know, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe you all can help me because I want to add belts to my shop. And um, yeah, I know that I like wrap belts. I like it for that definition. And I plan on doing a couple of different styles. But what kind of belts do you all enjoy wearing? I mean, I have a friend who asked me to make her a peplum belt. And I thought that that was really cool. Um, is that something that 
you all would like to wear. I, I thought it was really cool looking over a skirt or some pants. I'll put a picture in over here. It's intriguing. Now, I don't need the extra hip definition there, but wow, isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, so let me know down in the comments what your favorite types of belts are. I really want to know. You know, I've also been making um, pork pie hats. You all, I've been, I've been making a lot of pork pie hats for clients. And if you're not familiar with what it is, um, this is what a pork pie hat looks like. It's made out of leather. <laughs> it's hand dyed, hand stitched, hand molded. And um, yeah, I, I think it's so cool. Yeah, that's what a pork pie hat looks like. And it's actually called a pork pie because if you look at the actual meal, it has a top that kind of looks like that. So that's why it's called a pork pie hat. So this past week, I actually made a pork pie hat just out of like the hide. I didn't dye it or anything. Um, this person wanted it in the natural color. Um, so that's what I did for him, but I included two different hat bands. One that had um, the little like signature that I made for him with his name on it. And then the other one had um, a snake on the square of the hat band. So snake on this section right here and vines going all the way around. And you, I really loved how that came out. Now I laser engraved that entire like hat band. So it took forever and I about oh. lost my mind when my son knocked my laser engraver and it stopped laser engraving in the middle because you can't reset it. <laughs> I well lost my mind, you all. <laughs> so I had a make it work moment, which necessitated that I put those extra little black um, leather pieces on the side of the hat band, but I really do think it worked out beautifully. I, you know what, I, I have to admit, I really love those make it moments, you know, like those make it work moments because that's when you're really forced to get creative and I think it really worked out in this case. Another pretty successful thing that I made was a um, wallet. So I did make a, another card wallet out of some of the leathers that I have here in my stash. And you can see that's the front and that's the back. I, <laughs> I like how the side looks with all of the different layered colors in there. Um, so that was a fun, quick little project. And then the not so successful one that I had was this eyeglass holder. I do want to make some tweaks to this one. This one called for rivets and it has a nose piece on the inside that I really do like because it kind of keeps your sunglasses nice and steady in there. But um, I've got some design changes. I definitely want to make it larger um, just because I like big sunglasses and this is the biggest that I can fit in here and it's it's a it's kind of a tight fit so I think I'm definitely going to make it a little longer uh, just a tad bit taller and um, put a better fastening on it this was just a practice Sam Brown button that I put on that one Okay, so let's talk about what I have coming up, because this is what really excites me. So when I was at Three Little Birds last time, they had this really big sale, and I think I got like 35% off of everything. I picked up this French Terry there. I just know that this is going to make a fabulous leisure wear set. So I want to make a pair of brassies by Green Style Creations. But I'm going to do the one with the zipper pockets and then I want to add an extra zipper pocket on the leg. It's, it's a detail that I saw in a magazine and I absolutely loved. I'd probably never use it, but I think that, I think I definitely want to go for that extra little detail there. And then I was thinking I want to do a kind of cropped sweater with a kind of slimmer something underneath, maybe black or whatever. Um, I did pull out some extra knit from my stash. This one, it has a bit of a texture stripe on it. 
And I thought that would be really nice to mix and match with this. So I'm not exactly sure which top pattern I'm going to use yet. I think that's the direction I want to go. I think I, I think I made a little drawing of this too. Oh darn, I, I, I can't find it. I have no idea where I put my booklet, my drawing book. When I find it, I'll share it, maybe. <laughs> I'll show it to you when I find it for sure. So that's all my plans. And then I also have a fun bag planned. Now, I'm going to be going to Florida in March for the Sew Expo that they have in Lakelands. And it's going to be a very quick kind of fly in, take a bunch of classes, have fun with all the girls, and then come back. And so I, I'm not going to take luggage. I just want to take one carry-on bag for the weekend. And I got my pattern chosen, which is the Cavalcade by So Sweetness. I just thought that it was really good, really roomy, perfect travel bag. And I like that it has a zipper bottom for like shoes or even dirty clothing and stuff. I, yeah, that's a good detail. Um, buddy, I'm filming and you're naked. So let me show you the materials that I actually picked out for my travel bag. Okay, so for the upper part of the bag, I'm going to use this leather this cowhide right here ah, I just love that blue and then I'm going to match it with another leather on the bottom now this one is a really interesting one and I'm really I've never used anything like this and I'm super curious about it let me show you this blue side is the back side and this is the front side and this black is actually just black wax over blue leather so as it starts to get all beat up and scratched up, you can see that under there, the leather is blue. And I just think it's gonna make a really, really cool effect with this bag. I have these two leathers, and then for the handle, I'm going to use this. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun. And I'll get to use the new machines that I was given by a wonderful person named Michelle. Well, I get to sew a up on that. So as soon as I figure out how to thread it and put it in a bobbin, all that stuff. You all, she gave me some amazing jukies. Let me show you the lining though. Now, I know that this lining isn't ideal, but I'm going to interface it all to make the rayon act more like a cotton woven, but I'm going to use this for my lining, and I just think it's going to look really cute with all of this stuff. So now let's talk a little bit about life. Let me go grab a seat here. So now let's talk a bit about life. Now, this is the point where I need to tell you all that I'm going to be talking about depression. So if that triggers you, you can stop here and I'll be happy to see you next week when I give you the full review on the shirt dress with the leather trim. Um, but if it doesn't trigger you, I, well, let, let me just chat to you about what's been going on over here. So last year, in October, um, I experienced an event that was really kind of triggering for me. And it sent me into like kind of a depression. And it was, I, I, I couldn't quite get myself out of it. And it just kind of kept getting worse. And I decided that I needed to seek professional help when I started having unhealthy thoughts um, that I knew weren't, weren't normal. <laughs> um, yeah, and I mean, it, it, was, it was a scary time and it, it was quite an emotional time and I'm getting a little emotional now, but just thinking about it, but I, I'm in a much better place. All of that to say that I really needed to take a step back from making videos and focus in on my mental health. 
I've got a fabulous team of medical professionals that I'm working with. And, um, and I do, I honestly do feel much better and I feel a lot more like my normal self. I'm ready to sew. I'm excited about the projects. I feel my creativity coming back because for a while there, it was kind of, it was gone, like no creativity at all, um, which kind of, which kind of like takes the joy out of everything, right? Because sewing is such a creative outlet for so many of us especially me <laughs> it's really where i find my joy and my sanity yeah so now that i'm really feeling so much better and i'm in such a happier place right now um i think it's time to really kind of jump back into making videos and get back on a regular schedule um definitely not out of the woods yet but um yeah it, it's been it's been quite, quite a process. So I guess with all of that being said, I'll say that um, I had some really amazing people reach out and check in on me. And um, you all, that, that really meant a lot, especially when I was at some of my lowest points. And so I'd like to say that if you know someone who's suffering from depression, definitely check in on them. You know, it's one thing to say, hey, if you need anything, let me know I'm here. And it's another thing to pick up the phone and call someone and say, I'm checking in on you. Where are you? You're still in bed? Get up and wash your butt, girl. <laughs> Go take a shower, <laughs> which actually happened to me at, at one point. So, so yes, yes, definitely check in on your friends and you know give them that call because it might just be what they need to get up out of bed and make take some action right get up out of bed yes um i know i appreciated it for sure and i'm in such a better space now so really i'm saying all of this just to let you know where i've been what i've been doing and um and let you know that i'm in a better place and i'm ready to you know start start moving forward especially here with the channel and the sewing also if any of you are planning on going to the um sew expo down in lakelands florida in march let me know because i would love to do lunch dinner something i have no idea what's out there but even if we just sat down and chatted i would absolutely love to meet some of you all so I'm going to leave it there. I'll see you next week with my shirt dress review and some leather sewing tips. And until then, you all, I, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have an amazing day. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you didn't see it already, check out this video right over here because it's where I shared all of the plans on making my shirt dress that I actually finished and the drawing, my the workbook's in there. Check it out.